He's made a couple of errors today. Kowalecki drives this one deep down the left field line. It is gone! A home run! Kevin Kowalecki, the Big Ten's player of the year, showing you why. He got a pitch on the inner half of the plate, and he hit an absolute rocket down the left field line. That was a pitch up. It's his sixth home run of the year. But with a runner on, he is dangerous. Count even to McGow in the 2-2 pitch. High fly ball, and you can forget about this one. My goodness, it hits the building out there in left field. And McGowan, as I said, with one swing of the bat, he could change the complexion of this one. And we are all nodded up at three in the ninth inning. Tenth homer of the season. And he fires it in. Swung on and hit back towards the wall by Kyle Wood. It has a chance, and it is gone. Kyle Wood picks up his 12th home run of the season. And another... Home run on the day for the Boilermakers is now both Kyles, Kyle Johnson and Kyle Wood have a home run as that is a three shot run over the right field wall by the senior. And just like that, now it is an 8-0 lead for the Boilermakers. That is smoked out to left field as left fielder Alex Krupa goes back to the wall and that is gone. So take your time, Evan Warden. Boilermakers are on the board in the bottom of the third inning on a two-run shot. Perfect time for your first hit, huh? Perfect there time you go. for your first hit. Evan Warden. I think jumped off his bat. A smoked. Doors not closed on Omaha, but it's slim chances as Fascia drives this one to right. That ball pretty well hit, and it's gone! Zach Fascia with a solo home run, his fourth of the season. And Purdue with a 3 nothing lead. Well, Zach Fasha went up there hunting fastball. He got it and didn't miss it. Behind you. That one drilled into right field. That ball is really well hit. Fletcher back to the wall, and this one is gone. Off the scoreboard in right field. Jordan Lewis, solo homer, has Purdue in front, one to nothing. Jordan Lewis knew as soon as he hit this, this ball was going to go. The wind's howling out to right field, but he squared it up as well. It was a fastball on the inner half. He got the bat barrel right to the ball. Shipley on third. A drive by Skyler Hunter, deep to left. It's going to clear the wall, and Skyler Hunter breaks the tie with that three-run home run. Skyler Hunter just getting on it. We've seen Purdue four or five times today hit balls deep to the warning track. Just hadn't been able to get anything over the wall. And Hunter, solid piece of hitting, never really a doubt, clearing that left field side. Here's McGowan. He started the fourth inning with a single and scored a run. High five, deep right center. Padgett nearing the wall. He'll run out of room. McGowan hits his 13th of the season. The rest of the Boilermaker team has 13. He finds the trees in right center to extend the Purdue lead. Well, he started to hit well when he started to shoot this ball the other way, and he stays on top of this pitch. No. Missile clubs one to left. Hensel turns around, looks up, that's gone. Let's go. The Boilermakers go back to back. Well, it was a breaking ball down and in that sped up Nissel's bat. He's seen it well, but he doesn't miss this pitch. This is a line drive that carries all the way out. First time up. Evac, deep fly ball. That's Montgomery chasing. That's trouble for Mon Montgomery. It's off the wall. Evac around second, going to third, and he'll get the wave home. Going for an inside the park home run is Jeff Evac, and he will be across an inside the park home run for Jeff Evac ties this thing up at three apiece. Oh my goodness. He'll score a run. That one's squared up into left center field. Backing over the wall, it's gonna go for a grand slam. Well, just how Coach Schreiber drew this one up. Your hottest hitter up with the bases loaded. And he drills a grand slam.
slam to left center. Extremely well hit ball. Center fielder Wilson, who's playing to the right. Bonner sends it into right field. It's deep and over the wall. Home run for Bryce Bonner. How is coming home. Hunter is coming home. And the man himself, Bryce Bonner, rounding third and coming home. The Boilermakers with a big home run up four to one over Simo. Kennedy with a shot back to right field. McCutcheon at the wall and over. Two more for Purdue, the senior, Evan Kennedy. Making this week one to remember. His last as a Boilermaker as he rounds the bases. And that is his first home run of the season. No better time for it than to add a couple insurance runs for the Boilermakers in the bottom of the eighth. A wide stance from the right side. Schaefer into his wine. The first pitch is hit high and deep to straightaway center field. Chasing Papio back. He's looking up. And it's out of here. First pitch swinging is Kyle Johnson. And he deposits it over the batter's eye in straightaway center field. And the Boilermakers are on the board first. It's a 1-0 lead. And gets ready to deliver the pitch. And that is fly to deep left field. Back on the track is Krupa. He's at the wall, Goodbye. and that is way out of here. So take your time around the bases. Logan Poisal, a two-run shot, a four spot so far here in the fourth inning, and it's Boilermakers six, Hoosiers nothing. And this one roped out to right field. Bednar chasing back, looking up, and it is out of here. Harry Shipley sends that one over the right field fence, and Hunter Parsons humming along no more. Score goes to 2-1 to one on the day. So to Golden Gophers because naturally it's so cold. McGowan sends it out to right. It's going back out towards the wall. Bye-bye. McGowan gets Purdue on the board and gives the Boilermakers their first lead of the game. McGowan with a two-run shot. Already, we mentioned he already matched his home run total from a season ago. Now Another 2-2 from Bloom. Fly ball to left field, pretty deep. Sends Watson back at the track. It is gone. A two-out, two-strike home run for Ben Nissel, and it's now 4-1. to one. And this one swung on, hit hard into right field. Walker's chasing it. It's out of here. A two-run shot from Zach Fashat. Puts the Boilermakers on top in the seventh inning. Just a monster home run to Wright Fashion's third of the season. RBI 27 and 28 to the Boilermakers. With a 2 nothing lead, there was that one pitch, that one mistake. Big air for Milo Beam. It's into right. And out of here. Milo Beam with a home run off the first pitch in the bottom of the eighth. The second home run of the day for the Boilermakers, who usually play small ball, don't rely on power hitting. This is a power hitting team. Two balls and a strike as Ward skies this one to left. That ball well hit. Alvarado at the fence. It's gone. A home run. Solo home run for Evan Warden. 
Due on the board in the ninth inning. Down by six. It's a pitch up. Warden was able to get his hands through the zone very quickly. And Delisandro on second. And this one's hit deep to left. It might go, and it will. Jackson McGowan. How about that? For his seventh home run of the year, a two-run shot over the left field wall at Alexander Field. Boilers to hit into a double play and end the inning, so. 3-1, driven to left field, going back on it, and gone. Franklin, Pennsylvania. The 1-2 on the way, and it's hit high and deep down the left field line. Costas giving chase over towards the corner, and it's out of here. James Jewell goes yard. Tack on one more for the Boilermakers. Seven to one now. They lead it here in the eighth. And then that one hit back and gone by Kyle Johnson. A single shot home run by the senior on senior day. Breaks the tie for the Boilermakers as Purdue now on the board with a one run lead. Juniors and seniors, as this one swung on and hit high into left field. It looks like it ben will. Missile. Missile goes yard for his fourth home run of the year. That was that was questionable. That was a questionable, <laughs> as we could see out there in left. Jordan Kazicki out there tracking. It looked like it was going to be close, just not able to rob it. Invitational. And the breaking ball's left up. Faja drills it out to right. Harris giving chase. And that ball is out of here. First home run of the season for Zach Faja. And Purdue jumps ahead one to nothing. Sky deep towards center. Bauer Sox is back. That one is gone. A two run home run. Jackson McGowan deep to center field around 400 feet. And Purdue leads 5-2. Yeah, one of the deepest parts of the ballpark is just left of dead center over the Dietz and Watson ad on the wall. Just probably have stopped maybe short before the bag when instead he slides over it in a huge shot coming from Kyle Wood wow. and that one is going to tower out to right Would field a home that. run a two run shot for the Boilermakers to put up two back in the second McGowan with a deep fly ball back to right field McCutcheon at the wall see you later McGowan opens up the fourth and tacks on another run for Purdue that's why teams pitch around him. That's his 12th home run on the season, that one. There was no doubt. Off the bat, looked like it was going to go out, and that's how you uh, start off. Second pitch from Skelton is drilled in the air, down the line and left. This one is out of here. Ryan Howe, the freshman, goes yard, a solo shot, and now it's a nine-run ball game in favor of Purdue. 1-1 one, one pitch to McGowan. Another one. He laces into the gap in left center. Back at the wall looking up, and that's also out of here. McGowan putting the team on his back. A homer in the ninth to extend it, and now a go-ahead homer in the top of the 11th. Well, Jackson McGowan doing it all for the Boilermakers here today. He takes the big swing. as the third inning. And this one swung on, hit hard into center. Left field, and there is the first hit that Schultz gives up. Ben Nissel with his second home run of the day. In your scorebook. First pitch swinging and a drive to center field. Well hit. Myers going back, looking up, and it's gone. A home run for Jackson McGowan. And a spark for Purdue as McGowan's eighth home run of the year. 
again. Here's the payoff. There's a swing and a line shot center field. Brockhouse on the move, lays out, knocks the ball down, but doesn't make the catch, and it trickles through, rolling slowly to the foot of the wall. Around the score is warded. The wave for Jansen, he's in. Coming around third and scoring is Harry Shipley. This one high and deep. It's got a chance. It is gone. Pulecki gives Purdue the lead. Whatever you need, he will provide. 5-4 Boilers.